That might look like blue skies and sunshine, <laughs> but it's not going to fool me. <laughs> I know that's actually rain and wind. So I'm going to work on painting the hands and the mask today. They, uh, they set up fine, nice and firm. So I'm just going to trim down the uh, excess foam off of the pieces. I'm going to clean them up. And then I'm going to try my hand at painting. I'm going to give them a base coat first, and then I'm going to try with the airbrush. What I'm going to do now is start cleaning up the uh, props. So I'm going to trim down this little bit of excess here before I start on cleaning them. Now on the arms in particular, I'm not too concerned about what the the forearm looks like, because this is going to be all covered up. It's only the hands that are going to be shown here. I'm probably just going to paint up to around here, because this, from the wrist out to the fingertips, is what's going to be exposed. All right, Paul at Mad City Haunt recommends just using uh, regular water and uh, dish detergent uh, with a degreaser. So that's what I've got here. Okay, I think that's uh, sufficient there. I just want to show you the mask. I don't think there was uh, any deformity in the mask from the foam filling it out. So I got some liquid latex here and apparently you mix a third of the liquid latex, a third of distilled water, and a third of regular craft paint or household paint. And mix those three things together and you'll get a paint that will be uh, useful for uh, painting your props. First thing I have to do, this is my old liquid latex. And if you look inside, kind of chunky. <laughs> From what I understand, and I'm going to try, I don't know if it's going to work, I'm not sure like if this is just too old to uh, salvage, but water and or ammonia mixed in here a little bit at a time can get it to uh, return to a, a good consistency. So I'm going to try that first. And because I'm in the basement, I want to use ammonia, of course. But, well, it does seem to be mixing anyway. Maybe I'll try a little bit of water now. And apparently it's important to use distilled water that if you use like regular tap water, it, ha it might um, make your liquid latex curdle like milk. Definitely becoming more liquid. and start working on it. I'll move this to the side and I'm going to do the another coat on the arms. It looks like these arms are definitely going to need a third coat just because that red was so dark. All right, the hands are getting closer. Definitely going to need one more coat though, I think. So, I'm going to do the head first. I'm hoping the head only needs uh, two coats. Alright, I think the head has a good covering. It's a good base to uh, do the painting on top of. We'll, we'll stay with just two coats with this one. But the uh, arms, they definitely need a third coat. I think the two hands are also uh, sufficiently uh, base coated so now I can uh, work on doing some detailing on the hands. 
So tomorrow I'm going to start uh, the airbrushing on this. I broke out my Harbor Freight compressor and airbrush kit. Now everybody says these kits are fine. Alan Hopp says they're uh, terrific for this kind of use. But I've never had much luck with using them. Alright, so I just set up this uh, test board here. Yep. It's got nice air. Okay, what am I doing wrong? I'm getting no air coming out. Well, I'm getting air coming out. I'm not getting any paint. It's not sucking up any paint. Maybe it was the tube was clogged. Oh. So I got a new cap on here. I've checked to see if uh, the opening is uh, clear. It is. I was able to see light coming through both. So. And nothing. This has really always been the case, though, with these. All right. I don't know what the issue is. All right, I couldn't figure it out. Am I doing something wrong here? I mean, let me know, because I have no idea what the uh, deal is. I may be hand painting this thing. Maybe I'll go to Harbor Freight and I'll get another airbrush. So if you like what you see, give the video a thumbs up, a hand up, high five, and consider subscribing to the channel if you don't already do so. That way you'll be notified right away when videos like this are posted. And if you know what the hell I'm doing wrong with this uh, air compressor and this airbrush, <laughs> please let me know in the comments section. I'd really like to know. All right, thanks for watching. That might look like sunshine and blue skies and annoying dogs barking. Cock. Jesus Christ. Spilt the ammonia all over the table. Give it a shot and... What the fuck do you use this thing?